Hello Crafty Budgeters and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and on this channel we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. I have missed saying that so much. It is so nice to be in front of you. I have just missed being on YouTube, sharing all of the things with y'all. I hope you were doing well. Um, and as you can tell by the title of this video, that this is a fall reset. It is a fall reset of all of the things. It is a reinventing myself. It's a, it's a moment where I'm taking the time to really identify what I want, what brings me joy, and what changes I need to do to make that happen. And so I wanted to come on. It is almost fall and the summer, unfortunately, is almost over. And it's the perfect time to kind of just like reevaluate the things that are going on in my life and to make some really thoughtful and intentional goals to make them happy. So come along for the ride with your girl. If you're not a part of the Crafty Budgeter fam, I know it's been a while, but hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. And today we're just going to be real. I'm going to be real with y'all, just like I always am, um, and just share some of the things that is on my heart and how I really want to move forward for the rest of this year. Listen, 2023 is almost over, and I really want to make sure I get my life together. That's what the video should be called. Get your life together, girl. Um, so, yes, fall reset. Um, and when I think about reset, y'all know I created an acronym for about resetting things a couple of years ago. I'll link the video down below. But pretty much it's reflect, envision, um, strategize, execute, and track progress. And so this part of the resetting process is the reflecting and reflecting on what's been going on and kind of where I want to go and envisioning what happened next. But reflecting on, y'all, there's just been a lot happening and I'm sure the same for you. And I think I just needed to take a moment to recenter and to re figure out like what makes me happy and what I love to do. And I've come to realize that it is being on YouTube. It is creating. It is talking with y'all. It is um, kind of sharing my life journey with y'all. That's what is, that's what makes me happy. And I really want to find a way to get back to that. I know I've stepped away and I keep saying like, I'm back. And then I'm gone for another four months or three months. And then, but I really want the remaining of this year for me to be really, really intentional about coming on here on YouTube and, and just sharing the things that are that's on my heart and what I want to do. So pretty much I, I'm reflecting on the past couple of months, y'all. I had another baby. I'm a boy mom of two. I went back to work. And I think with all of that transition, it just comes to a point where you're like sitting back and thinking through all of the things. And like, again, what's going to make me happy? What brings me joy? And how do I want my life to be in the future and how I can create that now and not having to wait years to get it. So that's the reflecting part of this resetting that I've, I've done. And the next one is envision, like envision what I want to happen. And so y'all know I'm very simple. I don't like to complicate things. And so I broke it down into three different categories of my life that I am envisioning that I'm really focusing on for the next couple of months until the end of the, the year, right? I'm going to give myself, I don't know, what is it? 90 days, 120 days. I don't know how many days it is until the end of the year. But I'm setting myself up for success by really thinking through smart goals for three areas of my life. So the first area is financial. Y'all, you know, that's a huge part of this channel, getting off debt, being smart, smart with money, saving, emergency funds, all of those things. The second thing is um, my spiritual and my relationship with God, that is another big part of my life that, not saying that I wasn't focusing on, but I really want to be more intentional and more thoughtful about my relationship with God. And then also personal. So those are the three areas that I'm really resetting for this fall, financially, um, personally, and spiritually, that I bring you along for the journey. And I know that the personal and the spiritual part isn't typically what I talk about on this channel, but y'all, I talk about everything else, so I'm going to talk about that. And if you want to watch it, watch it. If not, 
click through, don't watch, but I want to share this journey of just like reinventing and, and refocusing myself to what I want. And so if it can help someone else sharing my journey with y'all, then so be it. So I wrote down on my phone the three areas and the like main goals that I want for those areas. So the first one is financial. So the financial part of my life that I'm envisioning really focusing on is getting back into budgeting like hardcore. I still budget here and there. I still make sure all my bills have been paid, but like I haven't really been going hard, going um, on my budget like I want to. So getting back to doing the, the um, paycheck budgets, the monthly breakdowns, kind of tracking my spending, using my envelopes. I haven't been doing that and I want to get back to it because that, thinking back over the past couple of years when I was really going hard with my budgeting and, and coming on here every week and doing all of those things, like it really made a difference. So I want to make sure I do that again. The second thing is, um, like I said, tracking spending. Y'all, and the summer is a little bit different too because the summer you always spend a little bit more just because you're out and about and doing all the things. But we got to ring it back in, oh, ring it back in. So that's what we're going to be doing as well. And then debt repayment. So I'm going to, you know that we started the channel in 2020, I think it's 2020, 2021, I can't remember, um, with $175,000 worth of debt. And y'all have been on the journey with me to pay it off. And um, it's been a roller coaster. And y'all, I'm going to do a whole debt update video. We're pretty much starting from scratch. We're starting with scratch from everything. All my envelopes are going to be starting from scratch. Um, my debt uh, pay off, all of those numbers. We're going to do it together. I'm going to show you where we are. Side note, um, some more debt was in there. It is what it is. And but that's why we have this to focus is to pay it off, right? Um, and and realizing, I think I realized too that life is short. And while being on the debt-free journey is very focused and very disciplined, sometimes you gotta have a little bit of fun in reason, in reason. Um, but still being smart with your money in that regard. So those are the three areas under that financial goal of that I really want to focus on that I'm going to bring you along for the ride with me. Um, spiritually, so this whole reset kind of, um, it's been on my heart for a while, but I think it really got sparked by my church is doing a fast starting tomorrow, actually. Um, so starting September 5th, um, they are doing a fast and their goal for the church is, a, is fasting to gain a better focus and go deeper into evangelism. My focus is a little bit different um, and my fast is a little bit different where I really am thinking through the pieces that I need to really focus on and that is getting more deeper into the Bible. And so I do do a devotional and I do it on my phone, but I realized that like doing it on your phone, I get distracted. I'm like, I'm listening to other stuff, you know, I'm going into different apps. Like I'm not really focused and like hearing and reading the word. And so I got a new Bible, so I'm going to be doing a whole video about like setting up my um, kind of devotional plan uh, with y'all. And again, that's what something you're interested in, fine. If not, that's fine too. Um, so the goals for my spiritual walk is um, reading the Bible daily, which I'm already doing. I do the um, the Bible recap plan by, uh, what's her name? Tara, Tara Lee Cobble. This is my second year doing it, but... I got a workbook to go with it, so I'm, I'm reading the Bible daily, um, continuing my devotional, and then daily prayers for direction. So another thing that I really want to focus on, and especially for this fast, is direction of where God wants me to go in different areas of my life, um, especially like the passions area of my life. There's a lot of things that I love to do um, and I'm good at, but I feel like I need direction on like what path I should be really focusing on um, and putting in a lot of my time and effort in to really make an impact and for me to just feel be fulfilled. And so these the fast for my church is um, 40 days. I think I might just do it in, for 90 days. We'll see um, how that goes. And again, you'll be along for the ride with me. But I really, in my prayer on a daily basis is prayer and reading scripture all around guidance and direction. Um, and I'll share that with y'all um, because many of you might be 
asking yourself questions about like where you should go, what you should be doing, should you stay where you are, should you do different things. And so if I can help and be a blessing to y'all as I'm learning myself and getting direction myself, then so be it. So that is my, the spiritual one. And then the personal goals that I have for myself are exercising daily. So I'm going to be in a wedding out of the country um, in a couple of months. And your girl, like I said, just had a baby. I'm just, just, it'll be, he'll be five months. Um, but your girl got to get a snap back. Like, I'm, it's not like I'm not there, but I would like things to be a little bit more toned. And so I really want to focus on exercising. And I've been actually doing pretty good. I try to get out walking in the neighborhood. There's a trail near near my house that I've been um, trying to do, taking the guys, little guys out with me. Um, but being a little bit more intentional, like making it happen. And I always get on these like trips where I'm like, good for a couple of days. And I'm like, forget it. I don't want to do it anymore. So setting my goal to really on a daily basis maybe giving myself a rest, one rest day, but on a daily basis, I'm doing at least 30 to 45 minutes of some form of exercise. So either I'm walking, I'm doing dancing, I'm weightlifting, something. I'm going to be focused on my body. And with that, it's also thinking through eating healthy. So along with the fast, I'm also cutting out snacks. Your girl loves snacks. My favorite is the Golden Oreo lemon ones. I can I can go through them like nobody's business. Chips, oh, amazing. Um, but that's not really gonna help me in my physical journey and health journey. So I'm cutting back on snacks. Well, I eliminated them. I didn't even buy them. That's when you know I'm like not playing any games. It's like I, I didn't even buy any. Um, so yeah, so it's daily exercise, eating healthy. Um, it is making some time, intentional time for family. And so my husband and I just said, we just celebrated an anniversary, seven years. Can you believe that? Um, Mr. Crafty Budget and I doing the dang thing. Um, but doing monthly date nights, like it's time for us to like really hone in on, you know, our relationship. You know, when you have a family and you're working and all the things, you kind of get lost in the sauce, but it's really important to spend that quality time but also doing stuff with the boys. Um, it'll be the fall, and so it'll be fun things to do outside, like going to the pumpkin patch. I would love to go doing corn maze, maybe apple picking and things along those lines. So hopefully doing some inexpensive or free things for the fall. And last but not least is looking at my resume. Now, not doing nothing. If you, if I, if you work with me, like they're not going anywhere, but it's also really good to just always have your resume updated, you know? Um, and so, and LinkedIn, I don't have a LinkedIn either, which I just am like old school. I'm like, it, just look at the resume. All right. That's enough. That should be enough for me. I don't need to go on LinkedIn and do all that, but it seems like LinkedIn is the way to go. Um, I need some help on that area. Can I just like send all my stuff to someone and they can create the LinkedIn for me? I would love to do that. So if you know anyone, put it down in the comments. Um, so yeah, so those are my um, personal goals. So it's pretty simple. It sounds like a lot, but in my head, it's pretty simple. Spirit, financial goals, spiritual goals, personal goals. And um, to help me and to help me stay accountable, I'm bringing you along for the ride. I'm going to be doing like weekly check-ins on those areas and I can't do like the everyday stuff it's just like too much but I think I'll, I'll like record myself like walk in and do my exercise and then do at the end of the week like a, a com compilation is that how you say it I think I might have said it wrong um and and just talk about where I'm at and or if there's any um things in my devotional that really resonated with me I'll talk about that and then I'll still be doing my like paycheck budgets and my cash stuffings and all of those so you'll you'll be along for the ride for that too but yeah so that's the goal the goal is to reset so I reflected on where I was I envisioned where I want to go I strategized, I created really thoughtful goals to make it happen and goals that I feel like I can actually attain, those SMART goals, um, execute. So now, starting tomorrow, well, when you see this video, it'll be today, these things are going to be put into action and I'm really excited. I am so excited. I haven't been excited about doing all these things in a while um, and I think I'm excited because I get to share it with y'all and you can join me for the, the journey. Um, and then track progress. My tracking progress will be doing the videos, um, update videos on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram um, name. I'll probably be doing some like 
quick little stories to help keep me updated and tracked. Uh, but yeah, so that is that is how I'm resetting for the fall. I'm resetting, I'm reinventing me. And I cannot wait to see where I am in, let's say, let's say, hold on, take a pause. How many days until the end of the year? Wait a second. So today is September 4th, but I'm starting September 5th. So hold on. Okay, so 118 days, which that's kind of an odd number. So we'll just do like 100, well, it'll be 117 days tomorrow. So in 117 days, I might just give myself a couple of days of grace, you know. Um, but in, let's say, 100 days, where I, okay, so let's do that. That's the goal. In 100 days, let me see. Okay, so from tomorrow, it should, 100 days from tomorrow, the 5th of September, it'll be December 14th. So by December 14th, this will be 100 days that I'm really challenging myself to to stick with this. And what do they say? To make a habit, you need to do it for at least 30 days. Listen, we're far past 30 days. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I hope you're excited too. Um, if you're not, it is what it is. You know, that's my model too, motto too. And there's going to be videos that are talking about different things other than budgeting. And like I said in the beginning, it's something that you want to to watch watch it if not that's okay i also toiled with the thought of maybe like changing my youtube name from the crafty budgeter to maybe encompass something that's the homey but the crafty budgeter just like has such a like important special place in my heart that i don't know if i can let it go but i would love to know your thoughts like how would you feel if i changed the channel name to really encompass something that like not only talks about budgeting, finances, but talks about just being the, a mom, being a, a person that is creative and having business ventures and just like doing the things and living the life that you want to live. So let me know down below. I would love to know your comments. Would you still watch me if I changed the name from the Crafty Budgeter? <laughs> it would probably be something that has like my name in it or something. Um, we'll see. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Come along for the ride. In 100 days from now, I'm going to have these goals met. And I'm excited to see where I am in, in 100 days. And, and I'm excited to join. You're joining me. So, y'all, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. If you are not subscribed to the Crafty Budgeter fam and this sounds like something that you want to be a part of, definitely hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. Have a great rest of your day. See ya. Bye-bye.